Hey. Hi. Hey. You need any help? No, no, don't, don't touch it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. All right, if you say so. I'm telling you, I'm pretty good at puzzles. I may be crazy, but nobody ever said I wasn't brilliant. <laughs> How you doing? I'm fine. I'm a little bored with the decor here, but I'm fine. Yeah, well, uh, you won't have to put up with it much longer. I'm, I'm going to get you out of here. I know you said that last night. It's very sweet. Marley, I, uh, I've been thinking. With Grant gone, no one's pressuring Judge Walker to keep you here. I thought he already made a ruling. Yeah, but rulings can be reversed, and I know I can drum up support. From whom? People who care about you. Tyrone, I know what you're doing, and I really appreciate it, but I want you to stop. Why? I don't want you to lean on anybody on my behalf, and most of all, I want you to stay away from my family. I am actually going to have to break down and go to the grocery store. There's no food here. Didn't stop Marley yesterday. What do you mean? When you and Jake and Joe went over to Grant's place, she convinced Tyrone to stay while she made lunch for the two of them. Salad nicoise. So? Oh, I just couldn't help but hearing. You mean eavesdrop? You don't want to hear what I have to say? That's fine with me. Come here, spill it. Tyrone made it very clear that he's interested in your sister. Is that right? And what did she say? Well, she obviously likes him, but she's fighting it because she doesn't think that she's good for him. Well, I think it's nice that she has someone who's interested in her, but I don't know if she's ready for a relationship yet. Oh, this Jake got it. Well, actually, I think that a kind, stable, and absolutely gorgeous man like Tyrone is exactly what Marley needs. Well, you're not going to believe it was just on the phone. Who? The head honcho from Willowdale. This is how we feel about Marley getting out. They're thinking of releasing her? Well, it seems kind of sudden to me, like, uh, I don't know, somebody's behind it rushing it. Who? I don't know. Why don't we go find out? make it up? Um, sort of. Yeah, the fountain just kind of came into my mind. Strange, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is strange. just came into your head? Yeah, it was the strangest thing. I, um, the fountain just is sort of... It became very vivid to me, so it... I probably saw it a long time ago, you know, when I was a kid. Does it look familiar to you? No, it you doesn't, it and it's disturbing that it just popped into your mind like that. Why? Because... I mean, you, you haven't drawn like that, ever. You haven't drawn at all in years. And the last time something like this happened, Stark was responsible. Mother, Matthew was going to see Jordan Stark. I've never met the man. He's seen you. What? The day that you fell asleep out here on the terrace, he was here with you. Do you think he gave me some sort of hypnotic suggestion in my sleep? I don't know what to think. I think you're overreacting. 
I drew a picture of a fountain. There's probably hundreds that look like this. Are you expecting someone? Oh, I'll, I'll get it. Allie, where's your mom? I need to see her. After what happened last night, I don't think so. It's all right, Allie. I'll take care of this. Come on in, Cameron. Rachel, I don't mean to scare you, but there's something wrong with Amanda. He, I know it. He's just saying that because Mom made him leave last night. This has nothing to do with me. Now, you said so yourself the other night that you were worried about her. Well, after last night, what so am I. What happened last night? I found her out on the terrace. It was freezing. She didn't even know how she had gotten out there. On the terrace? She was with Halliday. I got rid of him. I brought her inside to warm her up. Mm -hmm. Then she complained of a headache, so I went to the kitchen to get her aspirin. When I got back, she was gone. Then a few minutes later, she shows back up with Halliday. He'd been hanging around. <sighs> she told us why she left, because Cameron was bothering her. She said that, but it wasn't true. Was she lying? I'm saying that she has not been herself. You are just jealous because she'd rather be with David than you. There's something wrong with Amanda. Now, we have to do something. Do you know if she's had any contact at all with Jordan Stark? You're still in the start. Yeah, thing. I am. I don't understand. I really think that David Halliday, he is the problem. That is not what she said. She said it was you. Listen to him, Grandma. He is just making this stuff up because he's mad because Mom would rather be with David. That's not true, Allie. Your mom's in trouble. Serious trouble. That is what he kept saying last night. I mean, running around here like a crazy man looking for Mom. I had every right to be worried. Something very strange was going on here last night. She was outside with David trying to get away from him. That's what David said. It's not true. But she said it. You heard her. What did she say, Allie? She said that you were trying to force yourself on her. So she told you to get aspirin to get rid of you. What's going on, Cameron? She said something like that. Now, when she returned with David, she was describing something. Something that never really occurred. I swear, I didn't touch her. Why are you doing this? Mom finally finds a guy that makes her happy, and you're twisting everything around just to make him look bad. Allie, when are you going to understand that David is not the greatest guy in the world? Now, have you met him? Grandma, honey. I can deal with this, all right? No, I haven't met him. I keep missing him. I bet you any amount of money that that is not a coincidence because you would see right through him. Now, what I saw here last night scared me. It would have scared you, too. Now, let me just talk to Amanda. I'm sure that she, if she has a clear head right now, she'll tell you the truth. Nothing like this happened last night. All right, you can see Amanda. No, Grandma, he's just going to upset Allie, her. Allie, I said I was handling it, all right? But if you're trying to get to Amanda through me... All right, come on. Amanda? 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 On again. She was just here. Where is she? Amanda? worrying about upsetting people and start thinking about yourself. I tried that once. I kidnapped my sister and tried to steal her husband. It didn't go very well. Okay, all right. 
you had a breakdown and you, and you hurt a lot of people. But I didn't hurt people. I tried to destroy their lives. Yeah, but they're your family. They're supposed to stand behind you. After what I did, why should they? Because that's what family's all about. It's about standing behind someone because you love them, period. Now, look what you did for them. Cindy's in jail because of what no, you remembered. I knew that information about Cindy because she and I were plotting together to ruin Victoria's but, life. Look, spin it any way you want, Marley, but you can't spend the rest of your life punishing yourself and letting your family walk all over you. You are too beautiful, inside and out, to throw your life away. Tyrone... No, 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 don't, don't. Don't ever try to argue with the lawyer because <laughs> you won't win. And look, just, just promise me that if I can get you released, you'll go, okay? Jake, Vicky, well, what are you doing here? Oh, we just got finished talking to the head honcho in this joint. Yeah, he says they're thinking about releasing you. They, they, call, they called you about me? Uh-huh, just a little while ago. I wish before you did this, you had you would come and talk uh, to me. Marley, I'm your attorney. I have to do what's best for you. So, Marley, how do you feel? I mean, do you think you're ready to leave Willowdale? You're ready to be on your own again? Tyrone thinks I'm ready. Well, I'm sure Tyrone's not actually thinking as a lawyer right now. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Means you're not think. T you tell me. Tell me you're not personally involved here, Tyrone. Look, Jake, I'm playing this the same way I would any one of my clients. Really? You know something? You both were fine about getting Marley out of here yesterday when it benefited you. Tyrone, no. You're right. You're right. He's right. That six-month delay that Walker tacked on to Marley's hearing, everyone knows it was a joke. Now, Marley was found fit to stand trial, and now that Grant's gone, I'm going to get that delay rescinded. What? I'm going to get Marley a hearing on the kidnapping charges right That's away. That's a great plan. There's only one problem with that. And what's that? Marley's in custody for kidnapping Tyrone. If the doctors release her from here, they'd throw her in jail. The judge can grant bail. What if he doesn't grant bail? She goes to jail for a very long time. Is that in her best interest? Well, I... I have a plan to get Molly released on bail, but I'm... I'm gonna need help. Wait. From who? The way I see it, the one person who can get my client released is the victim of the crime that she committed. That's me, Tyrone. What, what can I do? I... If, if you're just willing to say that you put this all behind you, that you believe that Molly is no longer a threat, then I think the judge will grant bail. Yeah, well, you're asking a lot here. You know that? A lot. Am I? You know, Molly took the fall for you when you thought it was you that killed Grant. She gave you the information that nailed Cindy. She saved Kirk's inheritance. Now, you know she's sorry. Now, the question is, are you ready to forgive her? Victoria, I know this is a lot to ask, and I was telling Tyrone just now, I, I really didn't want to drag you into it. Well, I think I'm in it, no matter what. Look, keeping Molly locked up here isn't going to help anyone, and I think you know that, Vicky. I do know that. I just don't know what the right thing is, Tyrone. Well, maybe you can help her figure out what that is, Marley. Victoria, if I were you, I, I know it would be really hard to trust me. I don't know if I could ever do it and all I can say to you is that since I've been here I've had a lot of time to think and I've learned a lot about myself and I used to believe that I could make people feel however I wanted them to feel by you know wearing the right dress or saying the right thing I was wrong Jake I'm very sorry yeah I know and Victoria I don't even recognize the person I was when I did all those terrible things to you. I know that that's no kind of big excuse, but I am getting better. And I have come to realize that you, you and my family are the most precious thing I have in my whole life. That's why I was willing to go to jail for you when you thought that you killed Grant. I, I know. And I know how much you wanted to get Cindy, and so that's why I helped you catch her. I just... I, mean, I just want my sister back, and I would do anything for my family now. I hope you know that. The question is, will you do anything for her? 
Tyrone, I mean, it just, it isn't that simple. Uh, Vicki, it has to be that simple. If I'm going to make this work, I have to know if you're on Marley's side. Of course I am, but... You know, not a day has gone by since you've been here that I don't wonder about you and worry about you. Are they being nice to you? Are you getting the treatment you need to be the person you were? Marley, if there's anything that I did that helped you to end up here, I am so sorry. I snapped. I, I snapped. I'm better. And Tyrone is right. I want to get out of here so that I can do things right this time. And I want you to get out of here. I do. So, so can we count on your support? Uh, I, I need to talk to her doctors before I can guarantee my support. I... You know, something, stop for a second. You're not talking to anybody, okay? Nobody's talking to anybody until I talk to Molly alone. Wait, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, you know, so much that Molly decide that, okay? What do you think about that? You okay with that? You want to you wanna talk to Jake? <sighs> sure. Okay. Tyrone, actually, there's something I want to talk to you about. You don't want me to get out of here, do you? It's just, uh... What? You know me. I don't take chances with the people I care about, and I'm... I'm just not sure that you're... ready to be out there. You know, it's not about punishing you. I mean, that's for the law to decide. Then what is it about? Look, Molly, if you're not ready to be out there, this could be very dangerous. For Victoria? And for you. So I want to make sure that, that, that you're going to be okay about being out there. Otherwise, I will make sure that you don't leave. I, I understand that Marley made lunch for you yesterday at my house. <laughs> yeah, so what, what I owe you for the tuna? No matter what you believe, I love my sister. And I worry about her. Well, you have nothing to worry about because I care about her, too. I know that. I know that. And, uh, you know, you're a great lawyer. But, what, what, do you have a problem with our personal relationship? No, you're a great guy. She's, she's, uh, she needs a friend. Uh, Vicky, you know I respect you. But what goes on between Marley and me is our business. Yeah, I know, I know. And I, I, don't, I really don't mean to butt in. It's just that I wouldn't feel right unless I warned you about something for her sake. What? You know, the Marley I knew before, she was strong and independent, but there's a part of her that's, that's always sort of been a little girl, you know, especially where men are concerned. And, I mean, it's like she has this fairy tale thing that a handsome prince is going to come along and slay all her dragons and that they're just going to live happily ever after. So what, you don't believe in fairy tales? I've just seen her crushed too many times. And I'm afraid if it happens again, it'll be the last time. Just asking you to be careful, Tyrone, that's all. Mom's not in her room. I don't like this. Wait, Cameron, she might just be going for a walk or something. Don't freak out like you did last night. Like you weren't scared last night? I wasn't until you came in here and started flipping out. And then David brought her back and she was fine. She said she was fine. She also said she wanted you to leave her alone. Obviously, you didn't get the Allie, message. that's enough. Graham, don't you get what's going I on here? I said that's enough. Look, we're wasting our time here arguing. We should continue to look for her. Cameron, because of the situation with you and Amanda, I think it's best that the family deal with this. Fine. You deal with it your way. I'll deal with it mine. He is going to go after Mom. We have to stop him. You can't stop him. He has to do what he has to do, and we have to do what we have to do, whatever that is. Oh, if only you knew. If only he knew the real story, what he really did to Mom. I do know. Everything? Even about the baby? You knew about the baby. How long have you known? Since before the wedding, I... Allie. I overheard Josie and Cameron talking in the chapel. Why didn't I didn't you tell me. I didn't mean to listen in. But then they just started talking about the baby and and how it was Cameron's. I didn't know what to do. Mom was so happy. I, I knew that the truth would kill her and it would be worse if I didn't tell her. So you were the one. I didn't want to say anything. I, I wanted to keep my mouth shut, but I couldn't. And so your mother canceled the wedding. 
Allie, did Lila really send you that ticket to come home from Switzerland? What do you mean? The ticket was purchased in Zurich with cash. I think Jordan Stark sent you that ticket. What would Jordan Stark want with me? I think he needed a way to stop your mother's wedding. No, what, what I did, I did on my own. Yeah, what you did, you did. But something in me tells me that Stark is behind all of this. I want to be with you. The way you want me to be. But what you're asking is not easy. No, but it will be worth the fight, darling. You must take control of Amanda's soul and let your spirit be victorious. Amanda's soul is quite strong. She's very much in love. Oh, it's not love. It's the primal urges of a vapid woman and a mindless idiot. What does she see in that Sinclair ape? He says what's on his mind. Simply, directly. How else would he say it? It's a struggle for him to remember how to breathe. He sees what no one else sees. What is that? His kindness. The gentleness that he's afraid to reveal. His honesty. His what? He lied to her. She's never found that before in a man, and so she's drawn to him. She can't let go. You must make her let go. She has a child, and that bond is so strong. Not as strong as yours but and my, mine. I, you Listen, don't... you must kill Amanda's love for Cameron and for her wretched family. It's the only way to free your soul. It's the only way for us to be together again. I want that too. But Amanda is not making this easy. Her love for Cameron is stronger than even she knows. <sighs> Amanda doesn't even know how to love. Every relationship she's had has ended in disaster. Amelie, Amelie, don't you want to live again? You've never given up on me, have you? No, I haven't. That's why I love you, Georgia. You followed me. You found me. You've never stopped fighting for me. No. And I never will. But I look forward to the day when I can stop fighting. And I can be with you. As we were meant to be together. That's all I want, too. Then we shall have it. We just have to hold on a little longer. How much longer? That's up to you. Your spirit is emerging within Amanda more and more each day. That's why she's getting headaches and acting strangely. This is a war, darling. And you must win it. But how? By breaking the connection with Cameron. And persuading her to give herself to David Halliday. Amanda, where have you been? I took a walk. Is that a problem? We were in the middle of a conversation, remember? And then you just disappeared. It was a nice night. I thought a walk would be soothing. It was. If that's all, no, no. Cameron was here. Mm hmm He... he was upset because he said... something was wrong with you last night. He said you were with David Halliday and he thought maybe David... had done something to you, just upset you. Ali's point of view is that Cameron was what was upsetting you. Can you tell me what was going on? I'd really rather not talk about it. I'm exhausted. I need to know. There's nothing to know, Mother, really, and I wish you would just drop it. Where's my sketch pad? Amanda! Okay, well, like I said, there's, um... a lot of time to think around here. There's not much time to do anything else. I noticed that. 
So I thought about you. And how I felt about you and why I felt that way. And? All the time that I was chasing after you, I thought it was because I loved you so much. But obsession, an obsession like that is never really about love. It's about frustration and fear and anger. You had a lot to be angry about. I wasn't just angry at you. I was angry at Victoria and Donna and the whole world because I felt cheated because I didn't have the life that I wanted and Victoria had everything. So I went after the people I loved the most and almost lost Wait, them. You sound like you sound like it's all behind you. Like you you put this behind you. I did, Jake. It's over. It's this winter. It's like all the fear and anger and everything just exploded inside me and now it's out. And I'd like to think I I could still have that life that I want. You sound like you're making progress. That's good. Yeah. Progress, yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I could never probably move on unless I got one more thing, and that would be your forgiveness. Will I ever have that? I can't blame you for wanting to get out of here. And, and I would... Part of me, anyway, would just love to say yes, or all is forgiven. But you can't. Yes, not there yet, okay? I mean, maybe, maybe that's wrong, because after all, you forgave me for hurting you in the worst possible way. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Allie, your mother's home. She was just out for a walk, that's what she says. See, I told you there was nothing to worry about. Cameron was just trying to score points with you. She's not behaving herself. What do you mean? If I didn't know better, I'd think she was on drugs. <laughs> Mom, no way. I wish I knew why she was behaving this way. I think it might be David. And he's crazy about her. And, and underneath those glasses, he is kind of a hunk. No, I've seen her in love a thousand times. That's not what she's like. Well, maybe she's just stressed out. I mean, I would see, you know, Cameron bugging her all the time. That's why we need to get her away from this jerk and get her together with David. Get her away. That's a good idea. Whatever it is, he's here. Yeah. He's tall, has a raspy voice, and his name starts with a C. And maybe if I get her away, she'll... she'll start behaving normally. Well, like, where would we go? How about a cruise? You mean like a surprise? Yeah. You think you can keep your mouth shut about this? I think I've learned a lesson or two about keeping my mouth shut. Yeah, sure. I have! Amanda, D don't go. We need to talk. I don't have anything to say to you. Well, I have something to say to you. You're in trouble. More trouble than you know. Tyrone, this is between Marley and me. I don't mean to interrupt, but um, we should really get going. I want to tuck the boys in tonight. It's okay. I think I've said what I have to say. But you still haven't told me your decision, like not I either said, one of you. I said. We need, we need some time. I, I would like to talk to Mom about it. I think she should have some part in this decision. I've forgiven Donna for a lot of things. I'd like to think that she would support me if I thought I was doing what was right. Look, why don't you just let us talk about it, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it and we'll, we'll get back to you. Yeah, we'll make it soon. Come on, honey. Marley, look, I just want what's best for you, okay? I want you to know that. I do. I hope you can believe me. I wish you'd warn me that they were coming. Uh, Marley, what was that about just now between you and Jake? Oh, we were, we were just talking. No, no, he said he hurt you in the worst way possible. What the hell does he mean by that? It's ancient history. Then why does it keep coming up? What does that mean? Like that night on the roof when, when Jake was trying to talk you down and you were holding Vicky. Now, what does he mean, Marley? And what the hell did he do to you? Please just leave it alone. 
You know, the last thing I want to do is upset. Tyrone, will you drop it? But every time Jake brings it up, you get this look on your face. And you shouldn't have to deal with this alone. I dealt with it, and it's over. I care about you so much. You know that, don't you? Yes. And tell me. Did, did Jake... Did, did, he, did he hurt you? Whatever happened. It was, it was a very long time ago. Why? Why do you even deal with this man? My family, they are all I have. But you forgave him, didn't you? Yes. So why the hell can't he forgive you? It's not about forgiveness. He's just worried about his family. Why, do you think you're a threat to them? No, but in time, Victoria and Jake will see look, that. Mom, look, we don't have time. Now, I've talked with the doctors. They're ready to move on this. They made arrangements to get you out of here. But only if you stand up for yourself, especially to your family. I have to get their faith back. After everything I've done to them, I just have to... Now look, you had a breakdown, yes, but you got yourself back together. The doctors think so, and I know so. But no one, no one will believe in you until you believe in yourself. Now, are you ready to do that? I'm so glad it's you. You were expecting someone else? Well, I was kind of hoping it wasn't someone else. Ah, Mr. Sinclair. Yeah, he was here earlier. Trying to get Grandma all worried about Mom. But, uh, Amanda's all right, right? Yeah, she's fine. Oh, good. Very good. I was just, uh, I was worried about her after that incident with Sinclair last night, so... Yeah, she'll be okay. Just as long as we can keep Cameron from bugging her. Yeah, well, well, I want to make sure she was okay. That's so why I stopped by. I'll just take off. Good night. David, wait. Mm. I'm, I'm not supposed to tell anyone, but you're not just anyone, and I, I know you can keep a secret. What is it? Well, I, I think my mom's fine, but Grant's is kind of worried about her because of Cameron, and so she's taking us away, the three of us. Taking you away? Where? Some cruise. Oh, ah, sounds fascinating. Uh, for how long? She didn't say. I see. And uh, you wanted me to know about this? Why? Because I have this great idea. Ah, uh, yeah? Well, I think that you should buy a ticket on the same boat and just kind of show up like a coincidence. What do you think? Well, it's devious. Isn't it? But Mom would love it. I mean, what could be more romantic than being on a cruise with a man that you love? Or at least will love by the end of it. She'll forget all about Cameron. Well, the idea has possibilities. Uh, I'll think it over. Well, you do want my mom. I mean, this is what this is all about, right? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, I'll, I'll take off before we get caught, okay? Yeah. Right. Bye. See ya. A cruise? Indeed. Well, uh, I won't be going on a cruise, Ally. Then again, neither will Amanda. What do you want from me? You have to see that David Halliday is a liar. You have to see that he's lying. A lie is not a lie when it yields the truth. What? A lie is not a lie when it yields the truth. What is he doing to you? Stop it. Let go of me. Listen to me. Let what is he saying to you? Let go of me. What is going her. on? Let go of her. What are you doing? I'm Karen? trying to get through to her. It is no concern of yours. Do you understand that? You leave her alone. Well, I don't understand. If she gets released from Willowdale, isn't she going to have to go back to jail? Okay, look. Tyrone wants to argue argue for bail. He thinks if I tell the judge I don't believe she's a threat anymore, he'll let her go free. So that means her fate is in your hands. I guess that's what they mean by what goes around comes around. No, from, I huh? think that's what they call justice, Donna. Well, what do you think she should do? I, I, you know, so I'm, I'm having a tough time with this. I really am. I mean, I, I want to be fair. I want to do the right thing, the noble thing. But after everything that, that, that she did to Vicky, I mean, that close to letting her die, I'm sorry. I, I can't be noble. I'm not so sure that anyone could. Okay, look. She went a little bit nuts. Oh. But she's better now, and she's still my sister. Right. Well, I, I guess we know where you stand, right? I never said it was going to be an easy What, decision. we're supposed to believe from Marley's own words that she says she, she's better? And Tyrone's, 
and the doctor. No, what about, what about Kirkland and Stephen, huh? What are those two little boys going to do when they find out their crazy Aunt Marley's on the loose again? I bet they, I bet they can't go to sleep at night worried about the, that woman coming and taking their mom. Well, I guess we can see you've made up your mind. Vicky, this is not... It's not about me. You're, you're the one that Marley did the worst things to. I mean, you gotta, you got to decide how you feel about it. Whatever you decide, I'll back you up on that. Look, uh, man, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I know you're right. When Marley had me locked up down in that basement, her whole thing was about being normal. And she had everybody fooled. How do I know she's not doing that again? Amen. Wasn't she willing to go to prison for you? Doesn't that count for anything? Yes, of no. course it does. Hold on one second. That could be a calculated risk, right? Trying to get Vicky back on her yeah, side. Yeah, but what about what she did with Cindy? She didn't Cindy? hesitate to help you get something Cindy, on Cindy. Cindy was an accomplice. Cindy being in jail only helps Marley out. Okay, look. She's my twin sister. And I have to tell you that when, when she's locked up, I feel like a part of me is locked up, too. I want her back in my life. I miss her. How am I supposed to argue with that? Then help her. Give her back her freedom. What if she's not ready yet? Why don't you let the doctors decide what kind of supervision she's going to need? You think it's the right thing? All I know is that I want the two of you to be happy. That's all I've ever wanted. I want Marley to be happy, too. So what are you going to do? Right now? I'm going upstairs to kiss those baby boys of mine goodnight. I'm right behind you. You'll do the right thing, Victoria. I know you will. And then Marley will be free. And it all will have been worth it. Tyrone, what are you doing here? Are you kidding me? This is his version of a full court press. Listen, we just got home, so why don't you give us some room so we can talk about it? Look, I'm through family. talking, all right, Jake? Now, on behalf of my client, Marley Hudson, I am suing all of you for obstruction of justice. Amanda! Amanda, where are you? Where have you been going in the night? You couldn't have gone far. Damn it! Amanda, are you in there? Amanda! Where are you? Tonight is all new, starting with Dateline Wednesday, followed by incredible real-life footage in world's most amazing videos. Then, when a man is capable of murder, is even his family safe? A thrilling law and order, all new NBC Tonight.